this is the most important thing, I think, uh, uh, the most important aspect of jiu-jitsu, in my opinion. The stuff that, that really gets uh, into your soul and changes the way you live and experience life. And this is lesson number four, um, and I've called it intuition, which essentially to me means following your heart. And uh, I guess we've talked about elements of that all the way along. So fear being your enemy, finding your center, you know, keeping to that center, and through that center you're discovering what I call gentle power, uh, your ability to do incredibly difficult things uh, in an easy, effortless, um, uncomplicated, simple way. That's, that's a gorgeous way to live, and it's completely possible, uh, you know, through a lot of devotion and practice. Intuition <clears throat> is the fullest and final manifestation of that, your ability to follow your heart. Because ultimately, what's happening uh, is that uh, you're learning to trust that inner meter once and for all for every decision that you have to make. In other words, um, well, first of all, I'd I just like to say that uh, these are my opinions. This is my POV, and uh, I'm not really interested in changing anybody else's mind or anything. But if you're really open to something magical uh, that has worked for me and tens of thousands of people that I've worked with to some extent or another, uh, this is really something to consider. And the reason why it's so different is because there's a common belief system in our culture that says that you've got to hurt a certain period of time, a, a, a certain period of time before you can have any kind of joy. Uh, there's that classic Pink Floyd line in that song that says, uh, you can't have any pudding unless you eat your meat, you know? How can you do that? You know, it's impossible. And people really believe this. You've got to be miserable a certain period of the time. You just have to do it. You, you know, there's always things you don't like. People have to start listing it, you know? I mean, you, you don't... You don't have to work that in, but it's a belief system that is deeply ingrained into all of us that you have to be miserable. Um, but this this way of life, in jujitsu in general, the gentle art, says that that's not the way things have to be. Everything can be done in an easy, beautiful way. Everything. And uh, that's really hard to grasp at first, but if you've got the first few lessons down pat, or you've really got them in your heart, then, then you know that's possible. At least maybe you have a belief, and that's, that's a great place to start. Uh, I'll give you an example that I give uh, a lot of my art students. If you have a, a canvas and you pick up a color, let's just say it's black, and you're dabbing at it with, with black paint, and you keep going until the whole thing's covered, okay? You are not going to have a white canvas at the end. Everybody knows that. That's simple. Well, neither will you have a happy life if it's filled with unhappy moments. There is a lie that drags you out in the deep water and drowns you that says you must be miserable, and then later on you're going to be happy. Uh, I think we all know what that's like, uh, sacrificing unnecessarily. <clears throat> the things that are hard and difficult, when, they, when, when, when they're in your heart and they're resonating with what you know is right, they're, whether they're a lot of work, as other people might call it, or not, it's not going to seem as such to you. It's, it's going to feel good. Uh, making one happy decision at a time, even if it's something simple, is the belief that you, you come to, that you should come to anyway, through the gentle art. This good thing will lead to another good thing, lead to another good thing, and the whole thing, you'll have, hey, I had a good day. I didn't worry one time today. Uh, I, I did incredible things. I, I, I w w performed uh, you know, at, a, at an incredibly high level, uh, accomplished massive, uh, ma massive, uh, massively difficult stuff without busting my ass. I enjoyed it. I was in the middle. I, I was there. I was present for the experience. That's what jiu-jitsu is supposed to be about. And you'll hear sam those old samurai sayings, and, and, and in the end, you want to know life in every breath. And this is how you do it. You, it it's, it's, it's really, now what I'm talking about is ultimately fearlessness. You're just only thinking about joy. When, when, whenever I'm doing something and I worry, or I'm concerning, or making a plan, or I'm getting too rigorous with it, it's essentially worry. That doesn't mean that you don't uh, you know, intellectually uh, you know, pay attention to what's going on around you to some extent, but there is no, worry doesn't profit you anything. It, it really doesn't. I, I, I tell my students all the time when they're freaking out or worrying about something, I ask them to hurry up and quick check their underwear. And if there's a quarter that fell out of their ass for worrying, you know, then may, maybe there's maybe there's a, you know, there's a business idea there. But if it's not, it, then you're just wasting your life force and your time. It doesn't fix anything. Getting pissed off doesn't pay the electric bill. It doesn't do anything. So worrying about stuff doesn't accomplish it. But totally adhering and being able to be strong and powerful enough to follow your intuition leads you to a lifestyle uh, and ultimately a thought process and a habit where, you know, 
whatever you think's got to be done, and you get to decide, you know, nobody else gets to decide for you. I, I say how it is, you know. Uh, you know that deep down internally you've developed the, uh, the habits and strategies that allow you to do that effortlessly, simply, and have a lot of fun doing it. Uh, and, and that's what you want to do on the mat. Uh, first, you know, you learn how to do things, accomplish some really cool stuff without having to kill yourself. And you don't know, have to worry about what moves next, which move do I have to learn, I gotta practice this, you don't worry about it. It gets, it gets, it gets drawn into your bones if you train correctly. And if, and if that's so, what you feel is right on the mat will be right. And you learn to become the master by simply following the way the master feels. And you're getting delivered right into those hands. Uh, and, and it's tough um, to do because you've got a lot of resistance out there. I mean, uh, everybody would love to have uh, support and, uh, and uh, approval. It feels good, all that love. I, I love it too. When I first started teaching jujitsu, it was a crazy idea. Um, you know, rolling around on the floor, that only appealed to a few wrestlers, you know, uh, locks and chokes and stuff like that. Other people thought that's insane, and, and they actually were against it, you know, many, many years ago. Nobody's ever going to get into that. That stuff's never going to fly. You know, lo and behold, you know, of course, it turns into the most popular thing ever, and uh, millions and millions and millions of people are, are on board. Uh, but I have also paid dearly in following my heart, helping out people, doing the right thing. I received a huge number of injuries, and uh, the people that are closest to me and know me, uh, know how much I have to deal with those, how, how much uh, pain and suffering ensues from a lifetime of getting your uh, your body trounced. Uh, but I wouldn't change it. I've learned a lot and it actually has made me a better uh, practitioner because of that. I've had to dive deeper into the gentle way uh, and it's made me more powerful in, in many, many other areas of my life. It's also cost me though because while you have to do the right thing, sometimes it's not always the profitable thing in, in, initially and you've got to walk through the desert. But Living with your intuition gives you the character and the strength to stand by. You may not have a girl by your side. I'd love to have, you know, somebody that loves me and could live without me and was always going to be there. Have all this stuff that, that you'd like to have in your life. But people <laughs> will very often bail on you because around you, as my mom likes to remind me, is the Matrix. <laughs> and uh, th it is a terrified group of people that will do anything to defend the status quo, including slit your throat. <laughs> I mean, they just do not want anybody to rock the boat. This is the way it is. Don't mess with it. And if things aren't perfect with you, they, they, they run away and leave you. It's like going to the park, you know, without any breadcrumbs, man. The pigeons don't show up to play. And that's frustrating and it can be sad. But the, but the difference is, by following these steps and really following the gentle path, uh, you become a strong enough warrior to endure that. And uh, it takes a lot of bravery and courage. But the results, the highest, most beautiful elements of jujitsu and of living, are reserved for the people that are able to do that, not want to control other people or hurt other people, um, and not want to dominate or, 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 or uh, not are, are not consumed by their ego. This is a rare group of people, brave and uh, probably slightly crazy people that I'm very grateful for. And God bless you guys for being that way, man. Uh, for those of you that are out there like that, it's a lonely road. But that's uh, where, th 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 that's, that's where jujitsu mastery uh, has been reserved. It's reserved for those people. Other people are just simply gonna be blinded to the, uh, the, the steps that it's gonna take to get there. And I'll show you what that means on the mat with weights and so on. But really, that's the bottom line, being able to follow your heart. you got to trust. I know what the next move's going to be. I know what the next life path's going to be. I have to live my life like that every single day, one minute at a time, second at a time sometimes, feeling. Getting rid of thought, because thought means worry. Uh, you know, I'm talking rationally here. You know, you, can, you have to think about some things, but I really do have to follow my heart. Anyway, I hope that makes sense. I hope that, uh, that inspires you to look at your training a different way, or at least maybe, uh, you know, at the very least, uh, or at the very most opens up your heart and your mind to the idea that whatever feels good, whatever is beautiful, whatever you're excited about is the, the next step to take. That is the thing that you should follow, not resist. Um, I'll talk more about intuition, man. There's so much to say about it. I, I, as I'm speaking, I, I, I get imaginary arguments in my head. I don't know if you do that. Uh, you know, I imagine things that, uh, that it concerns that people have. Because we have such a puckered up, fear-based culture, man. We just, are, just absolutely don't let ourselves uh, go. But if, if, you, if you can, after listening to these things, come up with a feeling in your heart, if, if this participates in some sort of magical uh, exodus, uh, you know, some sort of internal freedom where you think, hey man, maybe I could feel fantastic, you know? If not all the time, how about most of the time? That's a good place to start. At least if it's anything more than what you're doing now, that's what the gentle art's supposed to accomplish. Uh, so 
Here's to a fearless, happy, magical life, uh, to the best of our abilities. Uh, so to everyone out there who is brave enough um, to be a warrior uh, for good, is willing to take the hits, and is willing to stay true to their character and, uh, and stand by the things that matter the most, I just want to say thank you very much. Um, anyway, I really appreciate you watching, and I will talk to you soon. Take care.